Look, we need to talk. This whole conversation of, is DevOps gonna be relevant? Is DevOps a good career choice? Will DevOps be around in five years? Should I do software engineering or DevOps and so on? It's gotta stop. If you focus solely on DevOps, your career is in trouble. Hey, what's going on? I'm Will Button, this is DevOps for Developers, and I'm here to save your career because you shouldn't be doing DevOps. If you pin your professional identity on DevOps or any of its subcomponents like CI, CD, Kubernetes, AWS, or whatever, you're gonna end up in one of two places, unemployed or stuck in a dead-end job that's about as exciting as watching grass grow. Now, don't get me wrong here. If your career goal is to gain the skills necessary to land a job with an established company and work at that job for the next 30 years, that's awesome. Not everyone has that kind of diligence, so I'm excited for you and I wish you the best of luck. And I'm gonna tell you that this is not the YouTube channel for you, so I'll save you some time here and you can use that time to go find some channels that will help you achieve those goals. So if you're still watching, I'm gonna assume that you're a lot like me and that you would probably be doing DevOps and writing code even if you weren't getting paid to do it. You love the challenge, you enjoy the technology, you're fascinated by the possibilities, completely geek out on the wild stuff you can build, and the fact that we do get paid to do this is like the fat kid getting the job as a test taster at a cookie factory, am I right? So then why does this video say don't do DevOps? I could have just as easily called the video don't do Kubernetes or don't do AWS or any other tool that we use because if you pin your career identity on a tool or technology, you're limiting your options. And let's talk about why. So if you identify as the AWS guy or girl or whatever you identify as, you're only gonna be seeing the jobs that look for that solution. So at whatever point that AWS or Kubernetes or CI CD gets replaced with something newer, you're out of work. You're also gonna miss out on a lot of opportunities because you'll only hear from people who know that they have that problem. Let me give you an example. When you and I are talking, we can say that I focus on implementing DevOps strategies for early stage startups. And you and I both know what that means, but check this out. None of my potential customers have any idea what those words mean. None of my existing customers knew what those words were until after we had been working together for a while. That means I would have lost millions of dollars of business by being technically accurate when describing what I do. Instead, I focus on solving problems. I build teams. I make applications stable and secure. I help developers deploy. I make highly performant applications. In short, I build tech startups, which is really, really vague, right? But it doesn't matter because to most people, they're not my target customer, so it saves a lot of time. To the people who are my target customer, those words are meaningful and prompt them to ask for clarification, which leads to discovering what problems they're having and whether or not I can help them. So let's put this into perspective and turn it into something you can use yourself. When you're describing your skills, whether we're talking about on your resume, online, or in real life conversations, focus on the problems that you have solved or you want to solve. Don't say, I installed CI CD using GitHub Actions. Say, I built a solution that allowed developers to safely and securely deploy code to production. Don't say, I know Kubernetes. Say, I created a solution that provided scalability and high availability for multiple applications using shared resources. This small change in how you present yourself will keep you from being confined to a specific box of technology, it will future-proof your career, and it will accidentally expose you to new and exciting opportunities that you won't otherwise know about. Now there is a place to describe the specific skills you have. And if we're talking about your resume or your website, put it further down so that once you have someone's interest in what you do, they can get an idea of the technical skills that you have. You just don't wanna open with that information. So if you found this video helpful, 
please do me a favor and share it with someone else who could benefit as well. And be sure you download the DevOps Roadmap for your own choose your own adventure guide to building your DevOps career. I've got it linked in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.